everyone so today i'm going to be making an easy delicious homemade bread anyone could make this no mixer is needed only your hands simple steps great result so now to a bowl i'm going into one cup of warm water half a cup of milk any milk of your choice one packet of instant yeast about one and a half tablespoons going to mix that a little also going to add two tablespoons of cooking oil two tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of salt and i'm going to mix until it's nicely dissolved and because instant yeast was used you don't have to sit and wait for it to become active automatically it's activated due to the warm water that was added so now i'm going to add four cups of baking flour all purpose flour would work just as fine i'm going to mix that in and this recipe gives you two loaves of delicious bread and this recipe is for beginners people who have never baked a bread simple easy steps so now i'm going to get my hands in and i'm going to knead until i've created a nice soft dough ball and i'm going to knead this for about three minutes kneading stretches and develops the gluten within the dough allowing it to rise giving you that light fluffy texture and if at any time it becomes sticky just dust some flour on and continue kneading now i'm gonna add one tablespoon full of butter yes and the butter makes a huge difference in taste it's like a butter bread but it could definitely be excluded now i'm gonna knead this for another two minutes i'm gonna cover it down with some plastic wrap as to trap the air in and i'm gonna allow it to sit and rise doubling size so while the dough is resting i'm gonna grease two loaves pan one nine inch and one eight inch i believe i will put the exact size in the description box minutes later the dough have risen i was surprised at how fast that took it might take yours about a 30 minutes depending on how warm your kitchen is now i'm going to get myself a clean working area i'm going to dust some flour on and i'm going to cut the dough in half well not equal halves because one pan is bigger and when i say not even rolling rolling pin is needed just your hands as long as you have some flour and yeast you could make a bread now i'm going to roll and shape this into loaf size mold and shape as nicely as you can and place it in the pan same procedure for the next piece of dough just roll to the shape and size of the loaf pan going to seal the edges and you're going to gently place that in the pan now i'm going to cover this down with plastic wrap as to trap the air in and i'm going to allow it to sit and proof rise doubling size Twenty minutes later and these are puffed up doubling size gonna gently remove the plastic wrap and these are soft and fragile at this stage and to a preheated oven i'm gonna allow these to bake for about 40 minutes but first i've never glazed a bread before baking i normally glaze it afterwards so i'm gonna try and see if there's any difference after baking so i'm gonna gently brush some melted butter gently you really don't want to mess up the surface then into the oven Forty minutes later this is the smaller bread that was not glazed my kitchen smells amazing there's nothing quite like the smell of freshly made bread oh my goodness so now i'm going to brush some melted butter on the surface and as you can see the larger one surface is not so smooth as the brittle of the brush was a bit too hard but apart from that these are just perfect i'm going to allow them to cool down for about five minutes then i'm going to place them to a rack and i'm going to allow them to 
cool for about 15 minutes before cutting into them and you really want to remove them from the pan because the heat will allow them to get a bit soggy and there you have it freshly homemade bread easy simple steps as long as you have flour and a bit of yeast you could make a bread these were just absolutely delicious they were finished in one night we had them with some butter <laughs> i want to thank you so very much for watching 